We're at the Saban Theater in Beverly Hills, where the world premiere of the National Geographic Channel Saints and Strangers is about to go down. It was an honor, really, to uh, tell this story. It's a story that uh, we all sort of thought we knew. Um, as Americans, we're taught this story since first, second grade. Um, but uh, this was a chance to sort of get it right and dramatize it on film for the first time. Um, and there's sort of no better place to do that than with Nat Geo, who had a sort of vested interest in, in getting it right and having it all be as accurate as possible. Uh, what this film means to me, well, it actually surprisingly means more than I thought it would because starting off, it's about the first Thanksgiving, basically, and it's about the pilgrims arriving in America. And for me, I'm a South African, so I didn't yeah. know what a pilgrim was. I didn't know. <laughs> no, I knew that. But I didn't know um, about Thanksgiving at all. So it was like opening like a Pandora's box of information and like amazing like stories and history that I had no clue about because we don't get taught it. Are you going to get to celebrate this year? Yes, I'm staying for Thanksgiving so it will be my first, th well actually it'll be my third Thanksgiving because in the series they're two Thanksgivings. So this will be my third one but it will be my first real one. <laughs> John Carver was the first governor of Plymouth, Plymouth Colony. Um, which means that he was mostly responsible for trying to hold it all together as it was going down the tubes. Did you hold it all together on set? Um, I didn't really have to, you know, you can just pretend to hold it together and uh, there's other people whose job it is to actually hold it together. It means a lot actually just because I think the whole process of it was quite a big deal for me personally because it was such a, a big production and I haven't really worked, I've worked on one other big production like this. So in terms of my career it means a lot. But in terms of the story that it's telling, it was quite amazing to be part of such a huge part of America's history. I mean, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but it was like this little insider information and like being part of such a, such a huge cultural aspect of your culture. It's been really special to experience the story from a Native perspective as well. It was wonderful on set experiencing all of that and the different culture, um, which hasn't historically been served very much, so it, it was it was great to to feel like there was a little bit more truth in the whole thing. My grandfather uh, on my mother's side, uh, brilliant man, um, professor. Uh, uh, he was a, a college professor, um, college social studies major professor, and he also did de genealogy for about 40 years. And he traced our lineage and traced us back to the Fullers, which stems to the Cripper um, family lineage, and that's where my brother and I hail from, so we are real Americans. <laughs> um, I play Miles Standish, who is the, uh, was the military representative on the ship. He was there to kind of make sure that the pilgrims were, were properly protected from any potential dangers when they arrived in the New World. A very polarizing character, I'm sure. Yeah, he does a lot of, I spent a lot of time shouting and telling other guys how to hold a rifle properly and hold a sword and, you know, fix up a rifle so that it was suitable to shoot at whatever could be coming their way. It's uh, it's very close to my heart. It's a story that we're telling that, in a way that hasn't been told before, I believe. We're not painting anyone as heroes or villains. It's a story of, of human survival, of human error, you know? Um, and as a Britishman, you know, I was quite happy to kind of tell the story and get British people behind this, because we're part of the story. Quite a lot. Everyone who landed was was British, you know. So it's um, it's something that we can share between, you know, this incredible country and England as well. So. This film means a lot to me. I play the role of Squanto, and he's an iconic uh, figure from from American history. So uh, there were many, many opportunities in this film for us to explore not just like the facts of the history, but the language and and all of the all of the research that Nat Geo was able to put into it and take that approach to this this project and know that all all the while while we're taking all our steps through it knowing that we were going to have a project that was going to impact people it was going to inspire people to maybe want to learn more about the Mayflower and the Pilgrims and 
and understand, you know, it's the simple um, idea of the title. You know, people are like, well, who are the saints and who are the strangers? And they immediately think it's between the pilgrims and the native people. And saints and strangers, as you know, refers merely to the people that w happen to be on the Mayflower, not just uh, religious separatists, but um, adventurers and people who are looking for opportunity. Yeah. What a night, another amazing red carpet filled with famous people. How could you not have fun?